Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, back to another how to get free makeup video. So it's been some time since I have done a, like a new how to get free makeup video uh, where I wasn't just kind of doing an update because I have been updating some of my older videos recently. But I did come across a new site and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I today I'm going to be talking about a site called Octoly. Um, I will link it below in case you're interested in checking it out. But before I get into how this site works, I did want to let you guys know this is a site specifically for YouTubers, for people who have um, YouTube channels. Also, there is a minimum requirement of a thousand subscribers in order to sign up. So if you don't already have a YouTube um, channel or not already even planning to start a YouTube channel, this video will kind of not apply to you. So I wanted to start up, out by saying that. Also, I did want to mention, I have received over the you know couple years that I've been doing YouTube, quite a lot of questions about, you know, how do I make money on YouTube? Or how do you get free stuff from doing YouTube videos? And I wanted to let you guys know, if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel, I definitely encourage you to do it, but only if you enjoy making the videos because you're not gonna make a ton of money on YouTube or get a lot of free products, especially in the beginning. I know a lot of larger YouTubers do actually make money and get a lot of free products sent to them, but smaller YouTubers don't. And you're not going to, your channel's not gonna explode overnight for the most part. It, it takes a lot of work, a lot of hard work, and a lot of time to put into it to build a channel. So for example, my channel, I've been filming videos for over two years now, and I'm close to about 10,000 subscribers currently, but I've been filming consistently since the time that I started my channel. Uh, for about the first year, year and a half, I was filming uh, videos, actually for about the first year, I was fil filming videos about once a week, and then I, after about a year, started filming twice a week, and now I'm filming every two to three days, so sometimes it's two to three videos a week basically is what I'm doing. Um, so, but that takes consistency and a lot of time. Um, filming a video alone takes between 20 minutes to an hour depending on what I'm filming. And then editing the video can take another hour, sometimes two hours depending again on what type of video it is. And, um, and then you also have the time that it takes to upload the video, write out your description, create thumbnails. There's a lot of time put into creating videos. There's also a lot of time responding to co comments and responding to viewers, which if you don't enjoy doing that, it's gonna feel like a lot of work. So um, if it's something you enjoy, of course it doesn't feel like work, it feels like fun, and so you don't mind putting all that time in, but if you're doing it just to try to get free stuff or make some money, you're not, YouTube's not gonna be for you. So I know a lot of people say that, and it probably sounds kind of annoying, but it is absolutely true because you're basically in, investing your time for free. Like the first, I didn't get my first check from um, my YouTube videos. Sorry if I'm going on off on a rant. I will get to Octoly in just a minute. Um, but I didn't start making money on my YouTube videos for like the first eight or nine months. And then my first check was only like $100. So I spent, you know, nine months of my time and got $100 for nine months of work. I mean, that's not very much. So you guys can see um, it is not, it's definitely not a job, it's more of a hobby. Um, I know there are YouTubers who do make it a job, but it takes a lot more work to get to that point. So, I did want to start out by saying that I don't want you guys to run out and start a YouTube channel just so you can get some free products from Octoly because it is a lot of work to get to the point where you would even qualify for the free product. Now that I have kind of got that out of the way, um, again, I want to mention that you do have to have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers to even apply on Octoly. So if you have a YouTube channel with 1,000 subscribers or more, you can go to the Octoly site and apply um, to be a part of their site, basically. Um, and then once you do apply and um, they, they have to review your application and approve you, which for me it took a couple of days, and I recently signed up, by the way, this is a new site for me, 
Um, and then you have a free store, they call it, where you can go onto their website and look through products that are currently being offered to Octoly members to um, review the product. So the company will send you the product and then you have to do a video to review it. A couple things about the site. First of all, the amount of product, I, I think it, it varies depending on your following. So, um, you know, I have close to 10,000 subscribers right now. For me, that's a lot, but I, in YouTube perspective, uh, it's a fairly small channel. So, um, I love all my subscribers, don't get me wrong. I'm very, very happy and excited that I have made it to this point. I feel like I have accomplished something pretty great with my channel, but um, for as far as like sponsorships go and um, products being sent to me, my channel is pretty small and most companies aren't really interested in sending me product because my channel size. So um, I don't get products sent to me very often. It's very, very rare. And therefore, I think that affects how many products are in my product store on Octoly because there is only a few pages on my um on my Octoly offers and most of them are very obscure like I think they're brand new brands that are trying to get their name out there or um, product lines that are not as popular um, that's what I've seen so far in my feed um, I did apply for three products to try out so the way that it works is you actually apply and give a brief description like a paragraph of why you think your channel will fit the brand that you're applying for and then that brand will review it and either accept you or not accept you so I, I did apply for three and I got approved for two out of the three um, the one that I applied for that I did not get approved for was um, Benefit Hula Bronzer which I'm pretty sure it is because it is a more popular item and there were probably a lot of people applying for it and I'm sure they pick the channels that have more of a following. That's just the way that it works. It's smart marketing for them. The more followers a channel has, the more views the video is gonna get. And of course, that's what they want. They want as many views as they can get. So that's just the way that it works. Um, so if you do have a channel and you're wanting to try this out, keep that in mind. It, you're not gonna get accepted for every single campaign unless you have a very, very large following. Um, there are times where you're not going to get accepted. That's just the way that it is. Um, but I did get accepted for the other two products. So um, once they, I, I did receive both of them and I'll show you guys those. I'm actually going to do a review on both of the products at the end of this video um, because that is the other thing. You are required to do a review on the product. So um, they give you only a 15 day window from the time that you receive the product, which I think is a little bit I think that's a little bit short. Um, for makeup items, I think that you can definitely try it out enough to really give a good review within that time frame. But one of the products that I got is a skincare item. And for skincare, I don't feel like you can get a good idea for what kind of results you're going to get from a skincare item in 15 days. And keep in mind, 15 days from the time that you receive it, you have to have the video up. So it's not just like you have the full 15 days to try it because you still have to um, film your video, edit your video, post your video. And for me, that doesn't always happen on the same day. So sometimes I need a couple of days to get that work done. So it cuts into that 15 day time frame a little bit. So um, I, I, that's one of the downsides I think about the Octoly site. I really wish that they did give you a little bit longer of a window, at least for skincare products. Um, Again, I feel like I just like to have a little bit more time to try out the product and see if there are any results. Um, so that is how Octoly works though. Basically it is just a way to match up a uh, company with a content creator and that way um, you know, making videos, it is a really fun thing, but it can get expensive because you're always trying to buy new products to test out for your channel. Um, and you always want, you know, the newest thing hitting the market. You want to be the first one up with the video so that you get more views. And it's tricky and it's expensive. Um, also, a lot of larger um, channels get the product sent to them before it's even released. So it's really hard to compete with larger channels when you're a small channel because you're not getting those products for free. You have to go buy it and you have to wait for it to come into the store to purchase it. So um, 
it is it does make it a little bit more challenging for a smaller channel like mine and it is nice to have an outlet to get some for pot to get some product for free to um, do those reviews where it's not coming out of your pocket because it can really really add up so um, that is that is basically how the site works. If you are interested in checking it out, like I said before, I will go ahead and link it below for you. It's not an affiliate link. This is just a link to their uh, website in case you want to check it out for yourself. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and found it useful, but I am going to go ahead and do my two reviews for the products that I got. And um, that way you can see kind of what products are available on the site as well. So since I already mentioned a little bit about it, the first thing is a skincare item from Avon. This is the Avon Anew Power Serum. Um, I really like the packaging. It's got this like rose gold um, kind of base here and like a clear um, plastic over the top of it. Um, it seems like there's a lot of product in here. This is the original box that came in. Mine has some puncture wounds in it because my cat's got a hold of it, but um, it's 30 milliliters is what you receive in this serum, which is actually quite a lot of product for a serum. Um, it is a very lightweight serum. You're supposed to be able to use it both AM and PM, which I have just been using it AM because I do have a different serum I use at night. Um, it, I'll show you a little bit. It's got this kind of a peachy orange color and it absorbs really, really quickly into the skin. It doesn't leave a sticky residue or anything like that, which I really like in a serum. It has a really nice scent, although I don't know how to describe it. It is not an overpowering scent, so if you are sensitive to scents, you uh, might find that you still like this serum because it's very, very light. I would just call it like a light, fresh scent. Um, so as I mentioned, I have not had this long enough to really start to see much results. I've been using this for about 10 days straight and I really like it. I do feel like it does a good job of absorbing quickly, not leaving a residue, um, but as far as results, I haven't seen any yet. Um, so I did want to mention as well, one other thing, um, they don't really on here, I read all of the... Um, the box, I've read everything that's written on the packaging, and then they did also send me with this little marketing um, packet as well. And everything I read does not say anywhere like what their main ingredients were, which usually, um, you know, working at Sephora and working with skincare, usually when I'm talking to a client about what products work, I like to look at what ingredients are in there because the ingredients will kind of tell you what it does. Like vitamin C, for example, helps to brighten the skin. Um, hyaluronic acid is very um, hydrating. It helps to lock in hydration. So if I can see what ingredients are in there, I can usually tell what it's supposed to do for you. But the ingredients that are listed on the box, the first one is water, which is very... Um, common in skincare but all the rest of them are the like chemical names do you know what I mean like the long names that I can hardly even read or decipher what it is so um, it doesn't have like the layman's terms on here or on any of the marketing tools so I was a little bit disappointed because I was hoping to open this up and say oh it has you know hyaluronic acid it has vitamin C it has um, why can't I think of any other ingredients right now but anyways uh, that's what I was hoping for I didn't see it but it does um, give you a description of what it's supposed to do it says it's supposed to help hydrate it's supposed to help with texture radiance fine lines wrinkles and firmness so it's supposed to firm and tighten the skin apparently I think it's just supposed to be just an overall um, hydrating and firming serum is what it sounds like but Again, I've only been using this for about 10 days and I've only been using it AM, not PM, so not enough time to really get a, good, get a good result from it, but I will definitely update you guys on how this product works for me and definitely when it ends up in my empties video. I feel like skincare, the best time to do a review is after you use the whole product up, so this will end up in an empties eventually and I will let you guys know more about it at that time. So the second item that I got from Octoly to try out is this little setting spray from Wet n Wild. Um, I've actually seen a few YouTubers talk about this recently and I was planning to go buy it anyway. So when I saw it in my free store on Octoly, I was like, yes, definitely want to try that. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Um, I really like the packaging. It's really, really cute. Um, it's short and kind of chubby. 
but it has um, this little lid that has all these markers like a ruler it looks like a ruler all the way around it which is I thought was really cute um, I love wet n wild products so I was had high hopes for this guy so it is just a setting spray that you put on after you finish your makeup and I did use it today but I'll kind of show you guys how it sprays uh, real quick I don't know if it'll come across on camera very well but I'll go ahead and spray it on again so I don't know if you guys could see that or not I had my eyes closed so I couldn't see the viewfinder but it does spray a nice even spray so I really like that I hate setting sprays that you know clump or just um, sit on one section of the face this one does not do that it evenly sprays it across your face it reminds me a lot of the uh, max mac fix plus the way that the spray works so I really like that it does have a scent it actually smells like hairspray which is a little concerning so I wonder if there's alcohol in here I don't know I didn't get a box with this so I couldn't read the ingredients but um, it does have kind of a hairspray or alcohol scent to it. As far as longevity of makeup, I, I have used this for three days in a row now. And today is the third day that I would have used this. And um, it definitely does help my makeup stay on a little bit longer. I don't feel like it works quite as well as my um, Urban Decay All Nighter, for example. But for a drugstore setting spray, I was actually pleasantly surprised with this one. It definitely did extend the wear of my makeup, which I haven't really found any drugstore ones that have done that for me. Um, and it just, I don't know, it does a really good job. I like the way it sprays. I The scent doesn't bother me too much, although the alcohol kind of worries me. But overall, I was actually really, really happy with this product. And I would recommend it because it's super cheap. I think it's like, I want to say around $5 compared to the all-nighter full size is like $30. So definitely worth at least trying out to see if it works for you. And that is my reviews of my products from Octoly. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions or comments about Octoly, leave them below for me. And also, I have been thinking about doing a video all about, you know, how to make money on YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing that, leave me comments below and let me know about that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this today, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.